Alright, in this tutorial we're going to look at grouping and linking objects. We're going to start off by drawing a box. We're going to name this box Parent. And we're going to draw a couple of spheres. Actually, we'll draw three spheres. We're going to name these spheres child and keep their original numbers so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of these objects we're going to go up to group and under the group tab we have group and we're going to name this group and we'll name it selection now once we've grouped these objects when we move them or scale them or whatever we want to do to them they will scale and move and act as a whole object now if we want to change something in a group. Let's say we want to make this sphere smaller. We would have to come up to group and we can do one of two things. We can either ungroup them which will take the group away or we can open them. So we want, in this case we want to open it. That allows us to select individual parts of the group, do what we want to do with that particular part, and then we can close that group and when we close the group the original group comes back and will act the same as it ever did the other thing about groups is they can actually be nested so if we were to have another few objects in our scene we can group our original group with a new group. So for instance, if we grouped all of these together, we can group, call this selection two. And now we have two groups. Actually have one big group and one group within that group. Now if we were to open this group, you see when we select that box in group one, the selection one, it actually s selects that whole entire group because it's a subgroup of this larger group. But now we can control the two boxes. So when we select this group, the first group, we can open that group and still modify the parts inside of that group. And when we get done, we simply click close and close and all of the groups are closed again. Now in order to show you linking, we're actually going to click on this group, we're going to ungroup everything, actually we're going to come down here to explode, and explode will ungroup everything all at once so we have no more groups. We're going to get rid of both of these so that we s just have our box and our spheres left. Now originally we named this one parent and this one child three two and one so we're going to use linking right up here in the upper left hand corner you'll see the select and link and when we click that we want to click on the child first and drag it up to the parent so we'll click the child drag it up to the parent we'll do that for each of these and once we've done that we can move the child wherever we want to move them to. We can scale them, we can, they act independently from the parent. However, when we move the parent, or when we do something with the parent, the children will follow that. So, as I move the parent, the children will follow, just like they were grouped. Each child is independent of the other children, and once you've set the child, it will keep that relative distance and spacing from the parent.
when we move the parent. If we want to unlink that, we simply click unlink. and the child doesn't follow the parent anymore. Now we're going to relink each of these children. We're going to hit H on the keyboard. And what this does is this will show us our hierarchy So we're going to come up here to display and display children and everything went away. If we will expand this box right here under parent, you'll see the children that are linked under the parent. 